I keep thinking that there's gonna be like an action. It's not porn. I'll do one for you. Okay. Action. I am Jason Love, I'm a sexual artist. Hi, I'm Angela White, and I'm an adult performer, producer, and director. I'm Kendra Sunderland, and I'm here with Tori Black. Ooh, ooh. And we're gonna answer the questions about porn that you are too scared to ask. What's your favorite scene you've done? I recently did a scene with Manuel Ferrara. My vixen scene with Manuel Ferrara. Mm, good pick. I was just about to say that was my favorite scene too. I just really? did one with Manuel Ferrara. <laughs> he just talks dirty so much that I'm like, yes. and he does it in French too. Yes. You know, I'm like, just, just do it. <laughs> and you're like, we love you, Manuel. Does your family know what you do for a living? Mine do, and they don't care. My family does know what I do. I've been very open and honest with mm -hmm. my family from the very beginning. My family do. Mom and dad? Mom, dad, and daughter. I got caught doing a webcam show in my school library, so I'm known as library girl, and that's how I got into it. So all my family saw on the news that I was playing with myself in the school library and that I got arrested <laughs> for it. What's your daughter say? I had to break that down to a complete verbal science. Skip the birds and the bees, let's talk about porn. Do female porn stars actually reach climax? I like the way that's I bet you was a guy asking this one. <laughs> do they actually reach climax? Yeah. Some do, some don't. It's just like at home. Some fake it and some don't. I try to every time. Yeah, me I try to. For me, always. But how do you know they're not faking it? Even that's the question. You, you cannot fake the body movements that I create. When a scene is over-directed and they tell you, come right now, you're so hyper aware of yourself that yeah. it's hard to get lost enough to orgasm. You cannot fake science. Science, liquids, you can't fake that. Do you have a satisfying sex life outside of work? Yeah. Oh. I definitely think at home sex is way better. At home, you can just go to town over in the corner. And yeah, and get tired and just lay down and catch your Britain and get back in. You know, exactly. when you're at work, it's like. <clears throat> Have you ever fallen for a co star? I wouldn't say fallen, I've had like a crush. Yes, it happens. Definitely. Yes. Who are your crushes? Oh. I like fell for them sexually and then couldn't wait to have sex with them again. But as far as emotionally, I actively turn off that option. When you have that kind of intimate connection with somebody, it's mm -hmm. hard to just break it off. Right, you get butterflies and yeah. you're like, oh my god, you dicked me down so good. If it's fun on camera, imagine when there's It's going to be great when there's no camera. The size matter. Well, wait a minute. The size matter. I knew it! I knew it! Exactly. Like, I can't really answer that question. Size does not matter. Mm -hmm. Because what good is a big dick if you don't know how to the use motion it. of the ocean? My problem is like actually going to defecate in my dick falling in the water. And people think bigger is always better, but like, I personally don't like huge, huge dicks. Yep. I've heard girls say guys with little, little penises, like, if they're working it right, they're killing it. And some girls tell me, it's too big. It really isn't about size, it's about how you connect with the person. Yeah. You can have a little one or you can have mine. It doesn't matter. What's your best sex advice for non-porn stars? I like this question. Honesty is probably the best thing ever. Listening to like the body language, mm -hmm. not necessarily what people say verbally because people lie. Like you're doing a great job lying. But lying. your hips don't lie. Right, exactly. If they're making good faces or good movements that seem genuine, Keep doing that. If you really want to get crazy with your girlfriend, chances are just sticking your finger right in her butt and not saying anything prior is not going to go over very well. So probably be like, hey, I want to put my finger in your butt. People always say we have the best jobs in the world. A job is a job. Sex work is work. It's work. I say it like this. There's some days I shouldn't get paid, and there's other days I should get paid double. You know, I feel like our industry gets a really bad rap because people think that we're nasty, but we're nasty in all the right ways yeah. and not in the wrong ways. So actually, most people in life are backwards. They're not as nasty and freaky as they should be. So it's like, you're the wrong nasty and we're the right nasty, so get like us.